Salam alaikum and good morning. This is going to be my last day in Diabaka. I'm all packed and about to check out. Just one final coffee for the road. Woke up to absolute nightmare scenario. I lost two videos on this camera. I lost the scam bar video, which was a good one because I gave the money to the kids. The kids was made up, so yeah, disappointed to say the least. I'm off to Mardin. I'm gonna stay there for quite a while, catch up on what's left to edit, and hopefully this doesn't mess up again. I have really enjoyed my time here. It's been like living in a movie, just chilling here. Watching the boys talk and the motions, the, the tones of voice. You know, I've been through it with them. And then it's really, really cool the way the, they all play musical instruments. So I'm, I'm just sitting there. It's, it's, it's been a unique insight into Kurdish life. <laughs> coffee for the road I'm um, soon to get to the next place I've got to focus on washing my stuff but I have taken away some valuable skills I am now accustomed to a long drop, so you know when I'm out and about, I don't have to think. Oh, what happens if I slip and fall? Ooh. Check out complete, and I just want to show you a little bit of artwork. Who was the artist, you may ask? What was his vision? Well, we may never know, but I would guess 15 to 19 years old. And the other side, childhood. Anyway, let's use Google Maps to find out what direction I need to go in. ATM, bus depot, Mardin, here we come. Still deflated over losing the content. Got some cash out the ATM, well I went up to the ATM and there was a guy there, he looked back at me, he started mumbling stuff, pointing at the machine, I said, oh god. I just thought, you know what, forget it, I'll walk to, I'll walk to the next one. Walk, walk a bit down the street and I didn't realise, getting a bit out on the sticks. And I do have a place to check into today, so I haven't got the same amount of time to waste as normal. So the plan of action is get something to eat. Time I get something to eat, I should be close-ish to, or closer. Then I'll, if I'm on a one-way road, I'll get a, I'll get a bus. If not, I'll just jump a taxi. Bus depot trying to get a ticket to Mardin. Mardin, uh, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah. Time to know. Uh, uh, my friend. Uh, mini garage, mini garage, mini, outside. mini garage, mini bus, no problem, Marvin. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, what time? Three o'clock still? No problem. I mean, uh, mini garage, no, no problem. No ticket, just money? Money, money, money. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm going to get something to eat first, man. I'm, I'm going to go to the shop first. Okay, no just here. Over. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thanks a lot. So apparently you can just nip over and, and jump. Jump a bus there, um, no tickets. 
What do you reckon that is? Four pound on supplies, got some water, energy drink and munchies. Let's go and get this bus. I don't think it's a big bus, I just think it's just a regular shuttle bus that goes regular. So let's um, check it out. So I popped into this, bumped into this guy on the bus. He's offered me to stay at his house. Unfortunately, this time I've got somewhere booked, but um, I would have loved to roll that dice again. And we're about 40 kilometers outside Marden now. And this is my first impressions of Marden video. Just arrived in Marden. He's talking to my host, letting him know I'm here. Um, can you tell him to WhatsApp? WhatsApp and then address. WhatsApp and then send location. WhatsApp'tan o gideceği yerin konumunu atsan aslında süper olur. Evet, bu numara. Oh good. Thank you. Tamam. Okay. Tamam. Şimdi söyleyeceğim yukarı eski Mardin'e çıksın o çay bahçesinin orada insin. He nere vardı bu arada Arş? Ne zaman vurdu? Hocam daha şeyin eski AVM'nin oradayız. Ee, Mardin'de? Aynen. So I've checked into a 400 year old townhouse. I'll give you a little tour. My first impressions are of Mardin, is it's very nice. I noticed a few wine vendors on the way in, so that can only be a good sign. Whew. I've just had a shower, well, wouldn't call it a shower, but yeah, I've got a little balcony. That's what the weather's like, so I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna um, make a move. Just get the keys and bounce. Mardin, what a place, eh? I'm going to head back up that way because that's the way I came from. There's a nice tea shop. I'm just going to have a little wander. That's what I'm going for. I'll show you. I'll show you a bit closer. And I bought like half a, half a bread roll. Screw cap. No. Excuse me. Thank you. Media? No media, no. Media is them plans. Still don't know what videos I've lost. The ones on me 360, still there, but two videos, two hours of recording. A bit more maybe. Would have been good videos. Definitely need them at the moment as well. 
took a year off. Personal issues, well, employment issues, fighting with my employer over, well, they were fighting with me. So that chewed up like a year, really. So get this fan down me. Find a vendor. Have a wander around. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And this is what I've got. It's actually really good. I'll tell you what, I am quite pleased to be away from the long drops. Of Diabaka. Just a little bit over two pounds. Thank you. Thanks a lot. And that was the tea room. I might go and investigate to see if they sell anything a bit stronger than tea. Pretty much doubt it. It's going to continue. It's going to have a little wander, eat some more stuff, try and get a video for you. Because I'm in the hole with them too, so yeah, I've got to, got to keep chipping away. The Dobu restaurant looks good. I noticed at the bottom vegan. If you've ever travelled with a vegan. It's the worst experience you could possibly ever, ever, ever do. But what caught my eye it was a local wine vendor. But before going to there, I noticed this tea room. Absolutely. Hemzen Cafe and Bar, in fact. Oh, wow. Looks uh, very nice inside as well. I guess they play live music. Oh, I see lights on him. Oh, he's hit the jackpot. Hello, sir. Um, oh, I'll have a bon monte, please. Yeah, just one to start with. Okay, let's find our seat. This is sick, absolutely mental. Should I go around the corner where it's a bit more sociable? Look at all this. I don't want to touch you. But yeah, I think this will be me local. <coughs> oh. Hello. Um. Yeah. Um. Ah. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Appreciate that. He's pointed the ear, so I'll sit here. So my first impressions of Mardine. It's looking good. It's looking good. All historical. Amazing. And they seem to be a bit more liberal for us drinkers. Last week. I'm making a pipe. Pipe. 70. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 70th joint, the cheapest drink that I've bought since I've been out here. It's close to £3. And the scan bar video, which I think I've lost. Second time when I went in with the camera, they charged me 70 Got to the last that one because gave all the bag of cash to all the kids. We were working till 2 a.m. like every night, so yeah, I don't get the credit of being a good person on that one. Just realised that um, YouTube that they're playing the music from going to get struck down from that. Gonna look for a special vendor. Put the real bottles. And just head back to be honest with you. Got a load of catching up, editing wise, to do. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but I helped the guy lift this pram up. Didn't want help all the way. Didn't have the strength, to be honest, so I'm glad he didn't. And it's a bit nippy in the shade. Bit nippy in the shade. Red, you got a new build. Some street art. <laughs> Sunshine. Oh, look where I am. Dead end. Go on then. Hi mate. Hi. Hello. Have a coffee, not Turkish. All the decor. Spot on once again. I'll go for that. I'd like a latte? Not duck. Okay. Alright, let's go and sit around the corner. Ah, oh, the kid's dog. How cute is that? Video. I said I didn't want to get you in the video. Me? Yes. No, I said I didn't. I was panning around to show people who. Okay. Oh, I asked for a latte because I didn't want a Turkish coffee. <laughs> Where are you from? England. England. What about yourself? France. Oh, nice. Yeah. What brings you around here? Yes. Vacation or do you live? Uh, live here and vacation. Okay, so you've got two homes go both, between both? Um, well, I've got from France, but I live in Istanbul. Okay, nice. Um, I'm in holidays right now. Holiday, same. It's, it's a nice place to be on holiday, really yeah. historic. and yeah, it's the first time I've come here. First time, same here. I've been here for about two hours. Mm. Okay, very beginning. Pardon? You live in Istanbul too? No, I um, live in England, Liverpool, oh. or just besides Liverpool, Birkenhead, a small town. Okay. I just came out to take some time off, get away from the weather. Yeah, and I said, why? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Is that your dog? Sorry? Is that your dog? No. Oh, I was going to say, he's, he's gorgeous. No, Okay, let's do some playing around. Okay. No, Fair enough. Is, um, 
Okay. I want to see the dog. I want to show you the dog. The dog's amazing. Some snag coffees in Turkey so far. But that's a nice one. So my alcohol tolerance is pretty much back. The 7.5% that I've been drinking. Doing no damage now, doing no damage. I want to show you this over here. Finished. Let's go pay. This is what I wanted to show you. It's obviously caffeine, hooking yourself up. But um, that kind of stuff, Joe, going into your blood, makes me feel sick, Joe. Puts me off needles and all that stuff. Poochie. I don't want to film the kid. <laughs> Told you it was cute. <laughs> that French woman just finished up, it's right behind me. But I'm making moves, look at this, up this way. Don't know if I'm allowed up, but we're about to find out. Oh yeah, it's just normal way. I thought they were work guys. for a coffee that's uh, about £2.30 something like that all well, my Turkish friends are probably going to watch that and say take him to the police take him to the police it should have been £2 stick to the high street probably not going to find any booze down here but Stranger things have happened in the past. I might buy myself some. Um, can't go that way. Cheese and bread. I've been enjoying it of the mornings when people make me breakfast. You know, just have it all out. You've got a bit of jam, other things, dips, that kind of stuff. So I might get myself some supplies. Yeah. So I guess we're deep into the market now. All closed. Oh, wow. 
What a view. The GoPro won't do it justice. I'm gonna get my phone out just so you can see just the magnitude of where I am. Wow. Did you think it was gonna go? More markets, it's like a labyrinth. Say hello, let people know that you're not a spy. Loads of little twists, loads of little turns. I think it might be a dead end now. I think I might have stumbled across another cafe bar. Yeah, it seems really chilled. Cafe, the paprup. Oh, Jesus. Gotta be careful. Steps everywhere, people are laughing, embarrass myself. Woke myself up at the same time, so it, um, it is what it is. How do I get in there though? I see a door there, I'm gonna try it. It's miles off though. I doubt that's it. There's a bread vendor there. step back in time this you imagine when it was brand new and all this was shining stone dead end I think it is a dead end no Smell fire. Ooh, quite a trek up here. I reckon there'll be some good views that way. Couldn't quite make out that. Was there someone in there? Absolutely epic. We're, go we're going to the top. View. Head left. Seems like there's people who aren't working. Just have a little gander here and there.
Oh, more stairs. I wonder if you can see Syria from here, because if you look on Google Maps, we're very, very close to the border. And this might actually be a dead end. No. Believe it, we're going to the highest point on the air. 16,000 million billion steps. And we're so close to the castle at the top now. But what a view. Over there looks very, very interesting. It might be a cemetery. Down there it looks more lively, so I'm gonna go down a different route. Wow, look at all them buildings collapsed. I'll be up here tomorrow morning, nice and early. Should I ask for a little, for a little go? Let me give it translate out. Hey, Neil Johan. Just a little? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's all good, it's all good. Too much. It's a bit scary, not gonna lie. Tell you what, do it quick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We're in as wild as I wanted it, but you never know. I think they might have been driving a bit quick to show off. All cemetery here, here and back down there. Didn't want to film in front of them. After the daggers I got from the last guy. But there's some scoundrel gallywags. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good, good. I think they're saying see you. All pleasant, all nice. But they say it changes when the sun goes down. Hello! Don't know if they're saying come back, but I've spotted this.
Now I think that's ideal if we run out of money. Oh, shit itself. This guy's got the right idea, giving them kebab. They're loving it. <coughs> Chicken's heart, in fact, not kebab. What a place. And I tell you what, the Turkish love pigeons, absolutely love them. I speak to one guy and he was showing me that a pigeon can cost like a pigeon can cost um, like 60 grand English money. He was showing me on the internet and um, Youssef, which my family know Youssef, they talk about Youssef. Oh, I saw Youssef in that video. Oh, Youssef's a nice guy. Um, he was telling me there's big money in pigeons, but he didn't tell me the amount. Yeah, so bloody 60 G's on a pigeon. That was a shower room there. All locked off, of course. This way, this way. As you can see, the main town square down there. I'll get down there, look for a Swifty. After going up these stairs, I think it's blocked off. Whew. I think it maybe holds water. Nowhere to go there, so. We continue. Oh. Jesus, this is slippy. Oh my God. I see that washing on the line. Bloody hell, he's got a collection of TVs. And it reminds me that I really need to wash my clothes. You missed one of my best videos. From as I, I intep to from hotel to hotel, I reviewed both hotels. I tried to do a cheapest Airbnb versus a most expensive Airbnb. I got the most expensive Airbnb. And then I was struggling with the cheapest. Like uh you had to be female. What other guy was messing around? I had a few problems. Airbnb had to sort me out and um refund me the cash and then I just stayed in the hotel the Norton which was very very nice hello tag Mardine and check out where I am this is like the main square by the looks of things of the old town we got statues epic scenery families enjoying the Instagram content which is vast around here and on that bombshell I'm gonna take care of business get some booze for tonight gotta be careful where you step I don't think Saba Buffet is a legitimate bender so we're gonna head back load up chill out and um see you. oh number one techie bay aye aye looks like a legitimate vendor so we're gonna go there i'm gonna get some we're gonna get bended and that's how this video is ended 